In this screencast, I'm going to show you one of the most important advanced searching techniques for effective searches. Even with the added synonym and truncation, there's still room for improvement in this search. The problem with the search currently showing here in our search box is that it will only capture instances of the phrase pet therapy in that exact order, or animal therapy in that exact order. This increases the likelihood of missing relevant results, as oftentimes authors describe concepts more complexly than is expected. For example, there may be an article that uses the sentence, therapy utilizing animals. Sometimes it can be helpful to use an adjacency operator, also known as a proximity operator, to force a relationship between each word, while at the same time allowing wiggle room for how the phrase might be expressed in a sentence. The adjacency operator isn't the same in every database, so if you aren't sure what the adjacency operator is in a particular database, this information is always available in the database's help section. In CINAHL, the adjacency operator we use is a capital N followed by a number. So if we apply this to our pet therapy example, it would look like this. This use of a proximity operator means that the database has been told to show us articles only where pet or animal appear within two words of truncated therapy in either direction. As with all search strategies, it's important to look at the results and see if there's anything that needs to be changed in order to help you retrieve more relevant results. Some of the ways that you could do this is by increasing or decreasing the number used in the adjacency operator, searching more synonyms, or considering different truncations. You'll notice that I've also added brackets to this last search. The brackets have the same function in database searching as they do in math, order of operations. The brackets in this search tell the database to search first for pet near therapy, followed by animal near therapy, and then tell me which articles contain one or the other. An understanding of brackets can also make your searching more efficient. For example, to search this query faster, I could do this instead. As you can see here in the search history, this search retrieves the same number of results as our previous search. It's simply a more efficient way of doing it. In the next video, I'll show you how to combine lines from your search strategy.